Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about Beautyrest Black and specifically the quilted part of this collection. These are the models that you're gonna see under names like L-Class, C-Class, and K-Class. Now this collection was completely redesigned in 2022, so we're excited to take you through the entire collection. Stick around. Okay, so the first thing you should probably understand about Beautyrest Black, other than that it is the top of the line within the overall Beautyrest product portfolio, is that it is divided into two collections. You have the quilted collection, which is 12 models, and that's what we're going to be focusing on in this video. And then separately you have the hybrid collection, which is seven additional models. And those models use names like LX, CX, and KX, the X being how Beautyrest signifies hybrid. And we're gonna be covering those models in a different video. Now, you should know that Beautyrest did focus in this latest redesign of Beautyrest Black on really trying to unify a lot of the components and materials that they use, as well as even how those materials step up through the L, C, and K levels of the lineup. So there's a lot of parallels between the quilted and hybrid collections. Uh, and so therefore, you might actually hear us talking about some of the same components and materials and even step ups in those two separate videos. Uh, and that's, on, that's intentional on BDRest's part. Okay, one of the things we like to do in these videos is to start out by talking about what all of the models in this collection have in common. And I should also give you the lay of the land that there are 12 total models, as I mentioned, in the BeautyRest Black Quilted Collection. Uh, they, they're divided as in four in the L class, six in the C class, and then two in the top of the line K class. And across all those three uh, classes, what they have in common uh, is a few different features, but what we should certainly start with is the T3 coil, because that's really been the hallmark of Beautyrest Black for certainly as long as I can remember. It's a twisted cable design uh, where it takes three different coils and they're twisted together, much like um, the wires uh, on, on a cable that would hold a suspension bridge to, uh, up. And, and so that gives it a lot more strength, a lot more rigidity and firmness and support. Uh, and that's kind of what uh, these mattresses have been known for, for a long time. So the T3 coil is present in all the Beautyrest Black models on both the quilted and the hybrid side of the, of the lineup. And you should probably know that not every coil within a Beautyrest Black mattress is a T3 twisted cable coil. Uh, if they did that, these mattresses would simply be too firm. So what they do instead is they basically use alternating rows of coils. They alternate between the T3 coil, and then, and then what they specifically do is in firmer models where they want to create a firmer feel, they'll use a firmer coil on the in-between rows, not necessarily firmer than this, but firmer than what they would use on the plusher models. The plusher models will use a softer coil, and that will help create a, a, a wider variety of feels across the overall lineup uh, by not only relying on the top part of the mattress and those comfort foams to vary up the feels, but also being able to contribute to the vari variations by using effectively a, a slightly more or less rigid support unit. So, uh, so that's kind of how those work. And then specifically, another thing that they've added in this new redesigned version is they've added zoning. So what that means is they've added uh, a, a different coil configuration to the center third of the mattress, the part of the mattress that's going to be uh, responsible for holding up your hips, which for all of us is the heaviest part of our body where most of our weight is carried. Now, to be honest, I can't really feel it. I'm pretty attuned to these things, but it's subtle. It's a subtle difference, so it's not as though you're gonna notice some wild difference between uh, how rigid the support is in the center third versus the head and foot. Uh, I can feel it just a little bit, I feel like, in the plusher models, but the firmer models, I really can't, can't say I can feel it at all even. So it's very subtle, but nonetheless, it is there. And the other thing you should know about the coils here is that overall, the coil density here, well, they use 1,260 coils in a queen size. And effectively, that, that equates to a higher coil density than that because they actually have a four inch perimeter of foam going around the edge of every mattress to give it a nice firm edge. That's their foam encasement edge support solution. That's what they call beauty edge. Um, so that uh, is actually subtracting real estate that could in other mattresses be used for coils. So in effect, if you're comparing this to other mattresses, uh, the 1260, you know, in terms of how much coil density there is in this mattress, kind of understates that. Uh, one thing you should also know is that when they count coils, uh, and this is something new, this is something different from previous versions of the Beauty Black, they're now counting these as three. So when there is a T3 coil, they count that as three coils, which, which I do think is reasonable considering that other manufacturers, when they use either coil on coil or coil in coil, they will certainly count 
uh, both coils. So, you know, this certainly in terms of the amount of steel rep represented here is three coils worth of steel. So I think that is a reasonable thing to do that they actually haven't done in the past. So that T3 coil system with the four inch Beauty Edge foam perimeter pretty much covers the bottom nine and a half inches of every Beauty Rest black mattress, whether quilted or hybrid. In terms of the other features that these quilted mattresses have in common, uh, most of those are up at the top of the mattress. And I'll start with something that else that's new in this 2022 redesign, which is something they call surface touch, which effectively is three quarters of an inch of gel memory foam that's quilted right into, uh, right beneath the cover here. So it's basically, it is in the quilt of the mattress and it's right beneath the cover. So that does give these, this current generation of Beautyrest black mattresses, uh, I would say more palpable memory feel than previous generations have had. Just having that additional three quarters of an inch right up at the top where you can feel it more. Um, so that's something new. Um, and then they've also, in this cover here, they've, they've uh, used something called black ice, which is essentially a plant-based PCM. You've heard of PCM from other videos we've done. It means phase change material. Effectively, it's small wax beads that when they melt, they create a cooling sensation because essentially they're changing phase from a solid to a liquid. As, and as they're doing that, heat is being pulled from your body, which creates a cooling sensation for your body. So it's, it's a relatively short term uh, duration that the effect lasts, but it's designed to keep you cool during the time period that it takes to fall asleep. Uh, what's unique about the face change material used here, which is infused into this top fabric, is that it is plant-based. So it doesn't use, instead of using petroleum in those wax beads, it's using canola oil uh, or something derived from canola oil. So uh, that's a, a natural solution and, and, and a, a delivering that same kind of coolness to the touch property that you would normally get with face change material. So they are calling that black ice. And just to, as an aside on that, that is not to be confused with what you may have seen referred to as black ice in previous generations of the Beautyrest Black Collection, which in fact was referring to a form of memory foam uh, that I believe also had some face change material on it, but it was, it was kind of the holistic package of a, of, a, of a dense memory foam with some face change that they were calling black ice. And now it's just referring to the face change material itself in the cover. Uh, and then of course the cover itself also has some antimicrobial properties and in all the mattresses, in the U.S. Black Collection. It also has some cashmere fibers in it, which give it a little bit of additional softness to the touch. And in terms of common features, the last one I will add is that all of these mattresses do have a, a more common aesthetic across the L, C, and K classes than they did in previous, uh, previous generations of Beauty Black. Uh, they're very similar looking. They do still distinguish between the three levels with just some subtle coloring. So the L class models will have kind of a gray stripe. This one here you can see has this sort of a rose kind of a pinkish red stripe, that's the C class. And then the K class at the top of the line will have more of a gold stripe on it. So it's a subtle distinction, uh, but it does allow you to just visually distinguish the different classes from one another. And then of course, all of them, no matter which class you're talking about, also have handles uh, on the sides, uh, two on each side here that are totally functional and meant to be used to actually uh, maneuver the mattress as needed. All right, so now let's talk about the L-Class portion of the Beautyrest Quilted Collection, which as I mentioned, has four total models. There's a firm, a medium, a medium pillow top, and a plush pillow top. And as I described earlier, they all have the same color scheme uh, signified by the sort of gray stripe as opposed to, and, and no rose or gold stripes as you will find on the C and K class. Uh, in terms of the features that all four of these L-Class models have in common, in addition to the characteristics that I described across all Beautyrest Black mattresses, uh, I can add one common characteristic for this that is specific to the L-Class models, which is one inch of what they call Beautyrest Gel Memory Foam, which is what I'm holding here. And this is about an inch here in this example too. This is uh, obviously a gel memory foam, so memory foam infused with some gel. Uh, that's what gives it that blue coloring. And you can see here, it's got that sort of slow responding uh, nature or characteristic that memory foam is known for. It's a little quicker than the average memory foam perhaps, uh, but nonetheless, it is gonna add some pressure relieving characteristics as in addition to that kind of slow melting, slow responsive, slow uh, recovery type of sensation that you're always gonna get with memory foam. So, and that is of course, in addition to the three quarters of memory foam that's quilted into the surface, as I described earlier on every Beauty Rest Black mattress. Um, so 
four models here. Overall, in terms of their feel characteristics, and feel characteristics are entirely preference-based, keep in mind, no better or worse, uh, but we, we look at memory feel, bounce, cushioning depth, which is the difference between sleeping in your mattress and on, kind of hugged or cradled versus floating above, uh, and then lastly, of course, softness, uh, which is really that kind of surface softness that you experience on the mattress. In terms of uh, how the field characteristics of these L-class mattresses line up, I'd say there's a lot of commonality in terms of their bounce. They're all gonna have uh, what we would consider to be like a bouncy experience. You know, it's not maybe the bounciest, but it's certainly above average amount of bounce. Uh, and it's a pretty similar amount across all of these. Not surprising because most of that is coming from the T3 coil unit that they all have in common. And in terms of the memory feel, likewise, they're all gonna have kind of a medium amount of memory feel, or what we might even call an average amount of memory feel, recognizing that most mattresses made today contain some amount of memory foam. These ones, effectively have about an inch and three quarters on average and what that results in is just a little bit of memory feel enough to make it about aligned with an average mattress but not a ton of memory feel and certainly not no memory feel um, in terms of the other two softness and cushioning depth this is where you're going to find quite a bit of variation within this uh, these four models it goes from in the case of the firm model what we would call a firm on our softness spectrum as well although actually towards the firmest end of that classification, uh, all the way up to what we'd call a very soft in the case of the plush pillow top L-class. And by the way, these two in the middle, the medium and the medium pillow top, we would classify both of those as a medium soft on our spectrum, meaning just to the softer side of medium, although they're kind of at opposite ends of that classification where the medium pillow top is almost what we call soft, and this is almost what we'd call a medium. In terms of the cushioning depth, it more or less follows the softness. Uh, in terms of the firm, you're gonna get very shallow amount of cushioning, more of a sleeping on or floating above your mattress type of sensation. In these two mediums, the medium and the medium pillow top, you're gonna get slightly deeper than average amount of cushioning. And then on the plush pillow top, you're gonna get significantly deeper than average cushioning with a lot of hard or cradled sensation. And in terms of fit, I would just add that as a general rule, mattresses with a little bit less cushioning depth, a little bit more of that sleeping on your mattress sensation, and a little bit less softness tend to be better for stomach sleepers as well as for heavier people, whereas mattresses with a little bit more cushioning depth, more conformance, a little more softness are going to generally be a little bit better for side sleepers as well as lighter sleepers. Whereas back sleepers as well as people uh, sort of medium weight type sleepers are gonna have a little bit more latitude. They're gonna generally wanna be somewhere in between those extremes though, but maybe have a little bit more latitude and allow a little bit more uh, of their comfort preferences to lead their determination of which mattress might be right for them. And that is going to be true not only for these four L-class models that we're talking about now, but really for all the mattresses across the entire Beautyrest Black Quilted Collection that we're talking about in this video. All right, so now we've moved up to the C-Class, and this is again the middle of the three collections within Beautyrest Black. And at this level, there's gonna be two additional features you're gonna get on each of the six models within this lineup or this, this collection. The first of which is one half inch of what they call self-response latex. So latex, as you may know, it's a quick responding material, very durable, um, it's got a, a little bit of bounce to it, it's also good pressure relieving material, uh, and it also tends to be made with pin core holes like what's shown here, which adds to a little bit of uh, vertical airflow in, in the mattress. So you're gonna get a half inch of that on all six of the C-Class models. And then the other thing you're going to get, which is even more unique, is an inch of this material here. It's a blend of cashmere, alpaca, and silk. So three different fibers, uh, all natural, of course, uh, which is nice. And they're woven together to create this one inch layer, which is, uh, has a little bit more firmness and rigidity than I would have expected just hearing that. It's, it's not just like a one inch sweater. Um, but nonetheless, it's, the main thing that you're getting from this layer is it is going to in further increase the airflow in the mattress because of course, uh, the way these fibers are woven together here to create this still a allows for a lot uh, of airflow here. So natural plus airflow, that's a feature, uh, this one inch layer that is present in all of them. Now you're not, by the way, gonna necessarily feel this because it is going to be, I think in each case, at least a couple of inches down into the mattress, but nonetheless, it is there and it is helping from an airflow standpoint as I explained. Now in terms of the models, as I mentioned, there are six within this C-class of the Beautyrest Quilted lineup. And they start with the extra firm, and then there's a firm, and then there's a medium and a plush, both kind of tight tops. And then you have a medium pillow top 
and a plush pillow top. Uh, in terms of the feels, there's a pretty wide range of feels, particularly in terms of softness and cushioning depth. A little bit less so in terms of memory feel and bounce. So why don't I start there, because it's a little easier to generalize. In general, these C-Class models are going to have a little bit more bounce than the L-Class models that we just showed you, which were already an above average amount of bounce. So these are gonna be really at the high end of the uh, bounce spectrum. And particularly that's because not only do you have the same coil unit as the L-Class models, but you also have some of this latex that we showed you and other materials up at the top that are adding just a little bit more surface bounce to these mattresses and mid-level bounce. So uh, the exception there would be the two pillow tops. The two pillow tops are actually gonna have less bounce. They're gonna have more just about an average amount of bounce. And that's because both of those have uh, some thick layers of foam up near the top of the mattress that are kind of actually acting as shock absorbers, taking away some bounce. So those are gonna have about an average amount of bounce, those two pillow tops, the rest of them are gonna have quite a lot of bounce. In terms of the memory feel, most of these are going to have a little bit below average amount of memory feel, uh, with the two exceptions. The extra firm is gonna have quite a bit lower than average. It still has a tiny bit of memory feel to it, but really uh, well below what we'd consider to be an average amount of memory feel. And the other exception is at the other end of the extreme, the plush pillow top model certainly has a, 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 an equivalently above average amount of memory feel uh, because it has a three inch layer of memory foam up near the top of that mattress, which definitely adds quite a bit of additional uh, delayed responsiveness and delayed recovery to that one. But the rest of them are gonna be just below average. Uh, and again, that's purely a preference-based characteristic, no better or worse there. Now, in terms of softness and cushioning depth, I think that's easier for those two characteristics to kind of go through the model by model. With the extra firm, that's going to be the firmest model in the whole Beautyrest Black Quilted Collection. That's what we would call uh, a very firm on our softness spectrum. So it's really kind of the firmest classification that we have. And it's likewise in the cushioning depth, you're gonna get very little of that conformance, much more of that kind of sleeping on your mattress sensation. In terms of the firm, that one is actually, we'd call that a firm, but it's really at the softer end of that spectrum. It's almost up to being a medium firm, but not quite. Uh, so we, we do call that a firm. In terms of its uh, cushioning depth, again, it's gonna be just following along with its softness and being slightly shallower than average in terms of its cushioning depth. Uh, in terms of the medium here, this is actually only gonna be just slightly softer than the firm, but enough to push it into the medium firm classification. Uh, and then of course, its cushioning depth will be a little bit deeper. We classified this one as just a straight up medium on that characteristic, really kind of that perfect blend, if you will, between sleeping on your mattress and sleeping in your mattress. In terms of the plush, this one is going to be uh, a medium soft on our softness spectrum, and it's going to definitely have a, a deeper than average amount of cushioning depth. Now, in terms of the two pillow tops, the medium pillow top and the plush pillow top, we actually classify both of these as a medium on our softness spectrum. But the real difference is that you're going to get more cushioning depth on that plush pillow top. We would classify the, the medium pillow top as kind of an average, similar to what we would say for the firm over here, the firm being like that perfect blend of sleeping in and sleeping on. The same could be said, I'd say, for the medium pillow top. The plush pillow top is going to be definitely much more of that sleeping in your mattress, hugged or cradled sensation. So that's, I think, where, where the feels of those two models really distinguish themselves from one another. Of course, in addition to the much higher than average memory feel on the plush pillow top that I mentioned earlier. All right, so now we've moved up to the K-Class, which is the top of the line within Beautyrest Black. And in the quilted collection, the K-Class includes two models, the firm pillow top and the plush pillow top. In terms of features, what you're getting as you step up to the K-Class is really two key features getting added. The first of these is what they call nano coils or what we might sometimes call micro coils, which essentially are tiny little pocketed coils. They're about an inch tall here in this case, and you can see that they're a smaller diameter than a normal pocketed coil. So essentially they can conform even more closely to your body. Um, they sort of function like a comfort layer more than a support layer, but they do offer some additional support as well. In this case, they're right above the T3 pocketed coil unit, so you're not necessarily gonna feel them directly, but they are down there in the mattress adding conformance and adding a little bit of additional support and comfort to to each of these mattresses. That's one thing. And by the way, I also want to point out, sometimes manufacturers will actually include nano coils in their total coil count. So we obviously weren't doing that here, but in the case of these 2K class models, you do have a sheet of 2,000 of these nano coils in both of these two models. Um, the second thing that you're getting in these two models here are, is additional memory foam. And not only are you getting more memory foam in terms of the total height and profile of the mattress, but you're also getting 
a higher quality, higher density memory foam in these two mattresses. Uh, and as a result of that, between the combination of higher density and higher kind of uh, volume, you actually have 10 times more total memory foam by weight in these K-class models as you do compared to the C-class models. So quite a step up in that respect. Um, I will say that the memory foam in the two mattresses here, it's essentially three inches, in addition, of course, to the, the quilt memory foam that we talked about, it's a three inch layer of memory foam in each of these. And uh, it's not the same. In the case of the firm pillow top, it's called a dynamic response memory foam. In the case of the plush pillow top, it's called air cool memory foam. Uh, the air cool memory foam appears to be a lot more slow responding, kind of ooey gooey you would uh, naturally, based on the name dynamic response, as you'd expect, that appears to be like a more quicker responding memory foam. Still slower than a normal foam, of course, but as memory foam goes, maybe a little bit more dynamic. Uh, this is the air cool, just to give you some context. You could see just how slow it responds. And that's evident on, in terms of the memory feel of these two models. The, the plush pillow top has uh, certainly a palpably more of that memory feel, that slow responding memory feel than the uh, firm pillow top does. I'd say this one is kind of above average, uh, cer certainly above average, not just slightly above average. And then this one here maybe would be about average in terms of its memory feel. In terms of the other feel differences between these two models, I would classify the firm model as having a medium soft level of softness and a slightly above average cushioning depth, meaning slightly more of that sleeping in your mattress or hugged or cradled sensation. Whereas I would classify the plush pillow top as having a soft level of softness, as well as a certainly deeper than average cushioning depth, meaning uh, distinctly sleeping in your mattress or being hugged or cradled sensation uh, and, much, and less of that floating above your mattress or really not much at all of that floating above your mattress type of sensation. Uh, and then in terms of the overall bounce on these, that's gonna be pretty similar, about average, because again, both of them are gonna have the T3 coil unit, and both of them are gonna have uh, the nano coils, all of which will add some bounce, but they also both have three inches or more, actually, including the quilt, of memory foam up at the top of the mattress, which is kind of counterbalancing and adding shock absorption that kind of offsets the bounce of the lower uh, component. So on balance, it works out to about an average amount of bounce in each case. A couple final notes I want to add here. Number one, we covered all 12 of the models in this quilted side of the BDRS Black collection. Uh, we did that just so that you have a full sense of the breadth and scope of the BDRS Black collection. But I do want to warn you that most retailers are not going to have all of these mattresses available, certainly not on display. So you may have to look around if there's specific models that you're interested in based on this video. The second thing I would point out is we gave you a lot of information in this video, particularly with regards to the classifications that we assign to each of these mattresses. If you're serious about these mattresses, what I'd recommend strongly is that you go to our website and use the comparison feature to compare these things side by side. That'll be a much easier way to digest all the different information we provided and the differences between these mattresses, not only in the areas that I talked about in this video, but in a number of other categories that we uh, provide classifications for. So definitely go ahead and check that out at our website, goodbed.com. But in the meantime, I hope you found this to be a helpful overview of this quilted side of the Beautyrest Black lineup. We thank you for watching, and I really hope you sleep well. Thank you.